computer if the computer is working um well i'm going i well since it's not i'm just going to say the we not know show has a twitter account w e n o t n o so you can find the bits and pieces there uh the latest one is a voice version um my, my colleagues on the on the um on the we not know and wild shows they 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 can deal with text they've got voice um interpreters of text but it's better to send them sound it's a very sound orientated show um we got we're going to bet and i think the accessibility features of uh starting with apple but it's now on all the microsoft and everything else um this voice interface with computers comes comes from access concerns and it's now gone gone much much wider than that anyway you will find a voice version of a column by Stephen Heppel who has been at bet a lot previously and wrote during lockdown um, about he he saw advantages um, or possible positive things to to develop later in what was going on um, schools having to be more hybrid to work more with with uh, what was going on at home through technology and there's a there's a related discussion in in universities i think um we'll get we, we'll get to that in future weeks but the, the 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 thing is that ahead of bet which is the last week of of january we're going to try and get some more discussion about that um and the the statement by by Stephen Heppel I think is is very interesting because it shows that uh, at least in Spain which is where where is based now mostly um, there are examples of uh, learners students working on their environment in a school relating it to technology and he doesn't state this explicitly but what is what is going on at home um he, cer- he certainly does talk about parents and how they how they get involved in such situations um so that's something i i, I, I would like to play and it, it relates to um the drama show in that I've, I've written my own plays to to mess about with or no i've written them for their for their own good reasons but also because um the the idea of 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 taking con- content and remixing it or adapting it to different lengths and formats is something that you you can do with with music and um, phonic fm is mostly a, a music signal um but it's it's not done so much with live performance with plays um so if I'm trying to trying to work up my own one, it's it's easier to to um, just do different versions of it at different times. But w- one of them is based in for new listeners. This is I know for 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 if you've heard this before, I'm I'm sorry about that. You're, you're going to get the you're going to get this a, a few times that the um, it's basically the same story, but it does change a little bit um, each time it it pops up. So. About ten years ago, um, Peter Horrocks, who was then Vice Chancellor of the Open University, gave a lecture at Durham about the Fortress University. This was when he was spending a lot of Open University money on FutureLearn, and nobody much could understand what the business case for it was, apart from anything else. Um, and he did have to resign eventually because there wasn't much support for what he was doing. But the Fortress University, I thought, was a very interesting idea. And the play is set in a a siege of the Fortress University in the first part. part. And then, so the siege is people just outside the walls making a counter case. Very similar to what Peter Horrocks was saying, but from a, a technology point of view and a marketing point of view. And uh, then, much later, in the actual ruins, 
there's a discussion including the stand-up philosopher on what survives from the fortress university so it, although there's ruins people go there and uh, have discussions and the, I, I don't know exactly what the stand-up philosopher will say but um, Woodsworth and Deal Theatre the storyteller the, the origin of this drama show pretty sure they're going to be somewhere near Kendall this summer 2024 and uh, the stand-up philosopher will say, will say something in those ruins anyway um, get going back a bit so therefore it's, it's important to go from part one the, the failed siege to part two the imagined future with the idea that um, the narrative doesn't stop with saying um, we were forced to go online during lockdown but we weren't really prepared for it it didn't work very well we're very glad it's all over everything is back to normal and um, this this brings me to a couple of things well I think I've, I've been rabbiting on a bit so I'll come back to the Sunday Times the most recent Sunday Times because there's a there's a bit of a contradiction in it um, the editorial includes the effects of prolonged school closures are stark. Pupils returning with twitching thumbs because they miss games consoles. A loss of social skills. And teenagers arriving at university unsure how to behave beyond Zoom. So that's, I think, fairly typical of... Um, how the newspapers are, are reporting what appears to be Labour and Conservative um, support for school as normal and um, criticising parents for not, not forcing 100% attendance, something like that. Anyway, we'll, co we'll come back to that. Uh, 